G'day guys, hope everyone's having a really good day. This is Pete coming in with another Clash Royale video and today I'm running my Splash Yard deck on ladder. I've had a few people request me to play this and go into a bit of detail around certain meta decks and how I play the deck. As you can see, I've tilted a little bit. It's been a bit of a rough day. Um, lost probably around 200 odd trophies against some top, top opponents. So hopefully everything goes well with this video. I'm um, versing Dark Lord from EGY Forces. I'm gonna let that hit the tower. Uh, what do you guys think of the new heal spirit? I feel like I've versed it uh, in a few Sparky matchups and also in a Hog Cycle. Um, but yeah, happy to hear what you guys think of it. So we're going up against a minor matchup here. I'm going to just wait out and see what he does to defend. I'm going to take the Poison Valley, guys, rather than going for Graveyard. Just go for a nice Poison, take out the Musketeer, and just suss out what he's running. This could be a Balloon matchup. Um, but again, just there you go. Definitely not a Balloon matchup at the moment. Just sussing things out and seeing what it might be. So I'm going to go for a baby dragon at the back here so we don't get a lock on from that mega minion and we can get some more splash damage. I'm happy if that does die so I can tornado it all back and take the value that way. So well played. If he is running balloon, I'll be a bit upset because I did cycle my tornado and my baby dragon, um, but that's okay. So we're going to get some hits off on the tower. He's playing a dark prince. He's probably going to have a miner. There it is coming down. So we catch the miner and we try and take out the dark prince. Unfortunately, I don't have tornado in hand. Hence why he went for a deep miner, which was really well played on his end. So we'll give him that because he knows that if I had tornado, he'd have to play it higher up. And since I've already played tornado, it means I can't pull it across on the tower and, and activate king tower. So we're mixing up the placement of the baby dragon just so he doesn't get familiar where we're playing it. And that should be fine. I'm not going to use Tornado on that one there, guys. Take one or two hits. I'm actually quite okay with that. Um, and let's wait for the Musketeer to come down. We'll get some poison value. There she is. Should get one hit off, if not two, from the baby dragon. Perfect. And that Musketeer will be goodbye. And we're going to wait for the Miner, depending on where he plays it. That's a good placement. We're going to go for a Knight. We should definitely... Uh, look at saving the knight for the Dark Prince for those kind of interactions. But again, as I said, we're going into uh, Double Elixir and I'm pretty confident in defending it with other cards that I have in my hand at the moment. I'm going to cycle a Bomb Tower nice and early so we can get back to another one because defending a Dark Prince is definitely a tricky interaction. I'm going to go for a Barbarian Barrel as well. So we distract that, don't get hit uh, from the Ice Wiz. And there we go, we're going to go for a nice poison here. You can see, guys, I haven't played a graveyard once. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting for the counter push. And once that opportunity comes, I'm going to definitely take it. So we're going to cycle a Ice Wiz in the back. He's probably thinking this guy's made a mistake cycling his bomb tower. But as you can see, I'm ready back to another one. And that giant is still going to be dragged across to that bomb tower. Um, and we're going to go for a deeper one right here. I'm going to go for a baby dragon on top of that. And there we go. So he's definitely getting some hits off. But this is where we're going to start having the counter push ability. Um, like making up words, we're going to go for this. We're going to go for a poison right there because we're going to get quite a bit of value on that poison. So again, guys, he's splitting his damage. That Ice Wiz is going to get a lock on the tower. Um, so he split his damage across two towers. So have we with that baby dragon. We've also done quite well uh, to, to target that right tower. We've only played one graveyard at the moment. So um, there's his spell. That's totally fine on my end. We distracted the uh, Musketeer, managed to take her out, thankfully. That Mega Minion did come down, and he hasn't been able to kill that Ice Wiz, who's gotten a lot of value. There you go, there goes the Zap. Again, a bit dangerous now that we've got a Graveyard coming in. And I'm going to take this Poison Valley, because he's going to be Dark Prince, whether he plays it in the right position. He will. Um, he did well on the Dark Prince front there, but he will eventually run into the Poison by the time the Graveyard runs out, for the most part. Uh, get a few more stabs, if you don't mind, young guys. Awesome. I'm going to go for an Ice Wiz in the back. We're going to go for a Knight, and then a Bomb Tower. So I want to play the Knight first so we don't uh, take too much damage onto the Bomb Tower. Even if he fireballs this, awesome. He doesn't fireball the Bomb Tower, which is okay on my end. I'm going to tornado this together. He's done really well to keep the pressure up here, guys. I'm going to distract that. I'm assuming there's going to be a uh, Musketeer nice and high. I'm going to go for a Graveyard. I'm going to go for a Poison, and that may be GG, guys. If we can get a few stabs off, is that what we definitely need? It's not over at the moment, but it may be over just now. There it is. So well played. That was definitely a tricky matchup. Um, managed to defend quite well, and we you saw we didn't, off memory, I don't think we played a Graveyard until we got to Double Elixir. Um, so sometimes with this deck, guys, and not sometimes, I should say, pretty much all the time, you want to be really, really patient. You want to absorb damage, not, sorry, you want to absorb the opponent's push, not take too much damage. And with the surviving health of those troops is when you're going to start doing your counter push with your graveyard. 
you don't want to go for an aggressive push unless the opponent has played something really heavy in the back like a golem or a lava hound. Um, there's someone wanting a war day battle, but I'm going to wait. We're going to go to a classic challenge now and just mix it up a little bit and see who we're going to verse here. So good luck. As I said, guys, irrespective if I win or lose, I'm going to just keep this video going. Um, it's going to be quite beneficial for everyone, not just for myself. I'm going to cycle a barbarian heart. Oh, sorry, barbarian barrel. What, what decks have you seen the most in challenges? The one that I've seen by far and large happens to be uh, the Royal Hogs matchup uh, with the Magic Archer, Mini Pekka, and Hunter. I'm pretty sure it's what it's got. This could be a mirror matchup, guys. Um, I'm just going to wait and see what he plays. Mm, maybe not. Looks like it might be uh, an uh, Expo deck. Yeah, it definitely looks like an Expo deck. So I'm going to go for a Graveyard here because we've got quite a big counter push. You can see there, guys. Again, I normally wouldn't do this, but he cycled so much Elixir for no real purpose. Um, and even if you don't get too much damage, he's had to spend quite a bit there to defend it. And even still, that's actually quite a decent interaction. With uh, Expo, normally you want to be patient. You don't want to be playing too, too aggressive. And you just want to build up that uh, the opposite counter push until we get to double Elixir. And then that's when you want to start being a bit more aggressive in your plays. So I'm pretty confident we've got a decent elixir advantage. You don't want to be cycling your knight for no reason, but again, this guy hasn't played any trips for a while. I can probably anticipate that there's going to be a Tesla tower. I'm going to take the poison value on these archers and the knight awesome. That worked out quite well. And I'm going to go for an ice whiz. Just to slow things down. Um, normally, I'd go for a Tornado King Tower activation uh, in any other matchup, but against a Expo, it doesn't make a difference. So I'm gonna, I'd rather cycle a troop so I've got a counter push happening. You can see he's setting up for his Expo now. He's gone for a high Tesla, which is well played, and he's getting the most value out of that. So I'm going to go for a Graveyard, and that's very nice. So he's cycling straight into a, a skeleton, a skeleton into an Ice Spirit. And the Baby Dragon stays alive. Oof. Lucky, unlucky. So guys, when it comes to an expo, you want to try and get your, your spell damage done first before you cycle anything. Um, and where he played that Tesla, he's a little bit unlucky. I should be able to get hopefully some splash onto that. Um, I'm going to go for a Barbarian Barrel, get some more chip off on that tower. He might get a small lock on. That's okay. We'll eat up a small little lock. I'm going to go for a Baby Dragon. I'm going to go for a Graveyard. So again, he's going to have to defend this. He's spent a decent amount of Elixir. I normally wouldn't go for a Poison, but you can see that there's a decent amount of troops in there, including the Tower. Um, we can, yeah, get rid of those supporting troops so then my troops don't die as fast against the Expo. So if he's going to play an Expo, depending on what your Elixir's like, you can go for a Deeper Knight. Uh, there you go. He's got a uh, Fireball, which is fine. Um, yeah, so if you don't have as much elixir, you're going to go for a deeper expo. If you have more, then you can go for a higher expo. Sorry, you can go for a deeper knight. I apologize for saying the wrong word. Um, otherwise, you will go for a high knight like I did just there and, and try and win the interaction at the bridge before you can even play it because you won't have enough elixir to support it. So this should be well played, good game, um, but I don't want to be too aggressive with it just in case he does come back and get the win. So this is where you'd play if you're running low on elixir, um, but if you're running high, you can play a little bit higher. I'm going to go for a Bomb Tower. That Knight should stay alive for a bit longer because we've got three things targeting it, and that Bomb Tower will definitely take out the Expo. Goes for the Fireball Valley, which is well played, and that should be GG's, guys. I'm going to Tornado in case he tries to distract anything. Yeah, well played. Good luck. So that's how you handle a Expo matchup. I'm going to go into one more match. Better. Yeah, I feel bad. We're versing level eight. So in this particular case, guys, I'm going to go a bit aggressive. Normally I don't recommend it, but again, I feel pretty confident. He's like what a bandit. I think we'll get some good damage off. Got a bit of a weird matchup. On this side, this is how you can get a King Tower activation with a bandit, um, especially if you're versing a P.E.K.K.A. matchup. So with the King Tower activation, uh, we're going to start looking really, really good depending on what he plays. We might go into another matchup with this, guys, just given the fact that we are versing a level 8. I feel a little bit bad. What's he running? What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon he's running? I'm going to go for a Barbarian Barrel as well. I should take out the Wizard. 
distract everything. I want to keep my bomb tower, depending on if he's playing something else. We're going to go for a high bomb tower. Uh, the reason being was to prevent the bandit dash, but my phone glitched out, unfortunately. So we did eat a bandit dash. I would normally go for a graveyard, but I'm just going to wait. He's definitely spent a lot more elixir, and he's been a lot more aggressive. Um, but yeah, that's what I was waiting for a heavy card to come down. That bomb tower is actually going to help us a little bit. I'm going to play an Ice Wiz. I could have played a little bit closer so we didn't take any damage, um, any jumping damage, sorry, but again, pretty confident that he won't get any hits off just given that we've got all three King Towers, all three Towers activated, I'm sorry. <clears throat> well played. He's playing this pretty well. I'm going to go for a Knight just on the inside. You can also play it on the outside just over here, but I like playing it on the inside. It takes a little bit longer to, to walk around and we're going to go for a Graveyard. I can probably anticipate a a uh, bunch of barbarians or yeah or um a minion horde but again i'm just gonna let that go that's poison value um and we were actually quite lucky that we got to split the minion horde up so we'll be able to counter those two minions quite easily and then you'll see that the rest will die to the poison with the barbarian so that was a massive interaction there guys <clears throat> pardon me so now that we know that he's running mega knight we're going to leave our knight for him and then also put the bomb tower so the bandit doesn't uh, take out the knight. You can also see that placement so the bandit didn't get a dash off and she just walked over to the knight which allows us to get a beautiful clean interaction. They're both going to die and uh, we're doing pretty well. So I'm going to cycle a bear barbarian uh, barrel so we can bring the baby dragon towards the death bomb as you can just see what happened there. I'm going to go for a baby dragon in the pocket. Um, that's yeah, extremely, extremely silly play unfortunately. I'm sorry not to be disrespectful. Just too much value for us on the baby dragon front um he did well to stop the ice wizard from crossing the river but he missed the um the purpose of yeah defending the the graveyard push so we went to one more matchup guys hopefully versus someone else as well and you can see a different match so well played from new legend we're going to one more matchup so reversing moment we wish him good luck and let's see how we go from Candy Elite. So you're going to be a little bit more patient on this one. I'm good for a Ice Wiz. This is probably that really, really annoying deck that's going at the moment. I'm going to tornado this over here. And that Ice Wiz should take it all out and we take minimal damage to our tower. That's an even Elixir trade, guys. It may look like we're doing a little bit more um, better in terms of more better. It might look like we're doing a bit better in Elixir, but we're not, just given how everything interacted. We can probably go for a poison. There we go. I was just waiting for the um, for the Musketeer to come down. I'm going to go for a Barbarian Barrel here as well, just so we can make sure that Musketeer is over. And then when the Skeletons spawn, yeah, we've taken a bit, we've done a bit more damage because I had to stay in the poison a bit longer to, to destroy the Barbarian Barrel. Yeah, this is a very powerful matchup. We're going to go for a Knight. Just over here. Could go a bit deeper. I'm quite happy with that placement. This will count, uh, cancel the Mega Minion out. Sorry, the Mega Minion, the Mega Knight out. Um, cool. We're going to go for a, lumber, a Lumberjack. We're going to go for a Graveyard against a Lumberjack. He's running a very weird matchup. Very weird deck, which is good. I like weird decks. Go for a bomb tower, waiting for this to come down. This is a really good counter for it, and we can save. That was poor play. I'm gonna go for this king tower activation, and then you'll he might get a few um, bat hits off, which is totally okay. We're gonna take a bit of damage, but now we're in a bit of a, a better position. We've got a king tower activated. I can start playing my knight a little bit deeper for the mega knight, and then his mind won't get as many hits off, uh, given the fact that we've got the king tower activation. He's definitely got a heavy matchup, so it's um. As double elixir goes on, he's going to have the, the advantage, but that's okay. We should be we should be in for a shot. The other thing to be aware of with this kind of matchup, guys, is that you want to save your splash troops for splash interactions. I know it sounds really simple, but you definitely don't want to be wasting them. I'm going to go for a knight here, and I'm also going to go for a barbarian to take out that mega that mega minion, take out the supporting troops, and also um, everything else that's coming with it. Sorry, guys. Bit, bit, bit difficult here to defend. Awesome. I'm going to go for a graveyard. I'm going to go for a poison. May seem aggressive, but again, not a bad interaction. Those bats should die. So will the, mega, uh, so will the uh, musketeer. 
Now we're playing it so that the uh, Mega Knight is being targeted by both towers. Won't get a hit off. The Miner's going to die. I'm going to go for an Ice Whiz. Go for a Graveyard. I'm going to get ready for a Poison as well. And we're just going to wait. we do a bit more damage. That's, that's a very good Arrows on his behalf. I'll give him that. I'm going to go for a Knight here. Normally you want to save this for the uh, Mega Knight. I'm going to predict where the Miner goes. We're just a bit late on our placement, which is okay. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Look how powerful those Spear Goblins are from this new deck. From the from the rework, rework, sorry, not from the new deck. I'm going to go for a Graveyard again. So we can start out cycling him now. We can get some nice Poison value on that Musketeer and also on the Tower. And that should not be GG's, but we're going to get close to it, hopefully, if all goes to plan. I'm going to go for a Bomb Tower and also a Knight. He's playing this pretty well. I'm going to go for a graveyard. And he's going there to be extra defensive, but he's also giving us more poison value. Um, one splash hit, and that should be GG's well played. So unlucky, guys. We did get a loss in this match, uh, sorry, in this video. But you can see uh, how we went against a whole bunch of other matches. So hopefully that gives a bit more insight as to how to play them. You saw one of the most recent um, matches that we versed was that Mega Knight one that I'm versing, uh, that I'm clicking on right here. Uh, this is a very, very annoying matchup. Um, there's other variations where they've got Spear Goblins, they've got Goblin Gang, they've got Bats. They've got the Skeleton Barrel as well, um, and that, that can be a really challenging matchup. So I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Hope everyone has a really, really good day, and uh, I'll be posting more videos like this with this particular deck to hopefully give you a bit more insight how to run it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.